the IFL TV and association with MTK Global. I'm at Wembley today for Crows versus Cox. Uh, with me on the undercard, just got a win via disqualification, uh, Nathan McIntosh. Uh, Lewis Adolfi, um, the crowd got behind you there in the end, so obviously they didn't uh, agree with what happened. Yeah. Um, he says that he thought it was fine what happened. Um, what do you sort of remember? I know you got You know what, I can remember it being a technical fight. Um, both of us got similar styles. But I felt like I was a bit sharper than him and I was hitting him to that body, caught him a couple of times with a jab to the face and you know when you, I felt like he started to panic like he realised what like what he was in with and I could hear it, I know it was only the first round but I could hear his breathing already and then next thing I know I can just remember I think the bell went or I can't remember I think the ref said the ref said break and then that's it and I'm just I'm just gutted that I've won on it. I know it wins a win, but I'm gutted that, that I didn't get the full eight out of him or have a good tear up with him. You said you was also gutted that this is your sort of the biggest yeah, exactly. part of your Yeah, exactly. It's my first, it's my first um, TV show and I get to show everybody what I'm made of and what I can do. And it's just, he, he, he just took it away from me. He just took it away from me like that. Like, rematch I, I am gutted, but I won't mind a rematch with him. But I'll tell you one thing, it would definitely be double bubble. <laughs> Because I won't be fighting someone like that if he's gonna like at the end of the day, the whole everyone was booing him, and everyone agrees that he should have got disqualified. Dis disqualified. When I watch it back, I'll be able to actually see what happened. But I'm just Cole, gutted. jump in. I'm, I'm gutted. Man. Um, Cole Grace, obviously you're a man who has been in the ring, outside the ring, yeah. many, many times. I mean, it's not yeah. weekend when you're not a boxing, is there? No, no. no. Um, you are a fair judge, obviously maybe you were on each side a little bit, but yeah. what did you make of that? Well, you know, I've been in boxing for oh, God knows how many years, 30 years, and the thing is, I've never seen nothing like that in my life. It looked to me like the kid just, just wanted, it was a way out for the kid, you know what I mean? He, he knew what he was doing, and the worst thing about it, it was like, bragging at the end of it like he'd done something amazing and knocked the kid out when he when he wasn't even ready and not even looking. It was a clear disqualification. The old crowd, he's been on the big screens, was booing. And I'm just amazed, I can't believe what I've seen. And, and I'm telling you now, I've been around watching, like, oh, this kid would have won tonight, no doubt in my mind. Louis Adolphe is a good amateur boxer, but he's missed the, he's missed the boat, I'm telling you. He's been out a long time. And he's, he's, he's just not got it no more. And he's a good amateur boxer, but you can see tonight he's slapping with that right yeah, hand. And, out, yeah. and he would have got to him, I'm telling you. And we, I was After so three, confident four, right? with this fight. See, tonight. he said the exact same thing that by the fourth yeah. you'd have been out of there. Yeah. Listen, mate, I'm, I'm, listen, we got, Sam Bowen, that, we got Sam Bowen on the squad. And <laughs> if I can last 10 rounds with him sparring, mate, he right. is an animal. And, and Sam Bowen Adolf, beat him. Oh, Dolphy ain't got nothing on Sam Bowen. You know what I mean? I thought Craig Morris was a lot bigger than him, bigger work rate, stronger. I, I knew, I knew I was going to be too sharp for him. After he got to three, four rounds, he would have started tiring. He was tiring already. He was nervous. He was panicking. I mean, the bottom line is, it looked to me like he wanted a way out. I mean, he knew what he was doing. I mean, and, and the thing about it is, he was bragging at the end of it like he'd done an amazing thing. The old crowd on yeah, the, the big flipping screen. Flipping the fingers after the crowd. Yeah, wasn't it, I mean, that. That, I mean, I'm telling you now, the board will really come down. I'll be amazed if he ever boxes again. I'm surprised the board will really come down on that because that was a disgusting thing what I've seen tonight. I've never seen that in my life. Well, like you said, I know you guys, you missed out on the opportunity, but you yeah. have got, got the, the win. win, and you're still going to get paid. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And he's not. <laughs> and he's not. You don't get paid when you get disqualified. Do you not? No, you get your expenses and that, but you won't get paid. All the training and all and all the hype and everyone, all the family and friends. The thing watching. about it, yeah, he's, 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 he's so you know what I mean. He, he last he took he got tickets last minute. He got them yesterday at the weigh-in, and he got like 25 tickets. People come over, spend their hard-earned money from Nottingham to come and watch him tonight, and they've, they've took the shine away. You know what I mean? We got the win, but at the end of the day, it's not how you wanted it. It's not how we wanted it's it, and it's just disgraceful for what that, that that kid's done, and, right. and I'm amazed. Well, it's done. Uh, we have to, hopefully you get the rematch if you want the rematch and hopefully you get your double bubble as well. That's always nice. Got to be double bubble. <laughs> Got to be. Right, listen, uh, Nathan, bit of sweet, but well done tonight. Obviously, Carl, thanks for watching TV. Nathan, thanks for watching TV, and I'll catch up with you both soon. Well, Thank you. Cheers.